Hey everyone, welcome back to today's video. I'm going to show you my Rue Cosmetics Manga Palette Ranking. I have done an eyeshadow look with every single palette I've got in this pile. Yeah, this is the complete manga collection. So throughout the video, I'm gonna share my thoughts and opinions on each, every single manga palette. I'll also link every single video I've done with these palettes down below. I have got a Rue Cosmetics playlist as well. But yeah, if you wanna know what my favorite is, make sure you can watch and hit subscribe. I do also have a makeup Patreon as well, which I'll leave in my description box. Yeah, we're out for you. Let's go. Okay, so I'm gonna start from bottom to the top. So top being my favourite and bottom. I'm not gonna say I hate it, it's just my least favourite. Let's just say that. Because I do like every single palette for its own purpose, but yeah, just for the purpose of the video, we're just gonna do it like that. My least ranking manga palette I've chosen from the pile is the Manga Anime 35 eyeshadow palette. The thing I love about Rude Cosmetics, they like create a story with their palettes and they create such beautiful artwork as well. Like this is just, oh, it's just everything. I love this front cover. Although when you do look at it, you think this is gonna be a rosy pink palette. But it's not. So this palette is actually a full on neutral palette. You've got your dark chocolate browns, you've got your cool tone browns, you've got your bone colour shades, champagne shimmers, you've got like one pink here. But yeah, you've got a lot of mattes in here and in the mattes you do get indents. For example, that looks like it's a sword and then up here, where is it now? This one is like a star effect. I don't know how well you can see that because I have dipped into it. For a neutral palette, I did enjoy this. My favourite neutral palette I've tested so far from Rue Cosmetics is definitely the Chupa Chups. Which one? What was it called? It was the Chupa Chups Cream Soda Palette. This is my favourite neutral. Absolutely love the shimmers in there. But yeah, in comparison, the shimmers in here are just your standard typical shimmers. They don't have that foil effect on compared to the Chupa Chups, but you can still create really nice looks. And I do prefer the mattes in here over the shimmers. I feel like the mattes perform really nice. They blend out all nice cohesively together. But yeah, not only you've got your champagne shimmers, you do also have your dark shimmers here. I must admit though, there is some repetitive shades in this palette, especially the bone beige shades. We could have done with taking some of those away. There's so much cream beige type of shadows in here, which I don't think is needed. I like that they've incorporated a lot of cool tones. I forgot to mention, this is called Book 2. So yeah, that was the neutral palette of the pile. Don't get me wrong, the manga series of Rue Cosmetics has a lot of colourful palettes, so I can understand why they've incorporated a neutral palette because not everyone likes colour and someone, you know, some people might just want a wearable palette, which is, this is definitely a wearable palette. This would be great for work or something. Next up from that is the Manga Anime Book 2B palette. Now, again, this artwork on here is spectacular. Like, I just love this artwork. I'd say this palette has got more depth than the neutral palette. I would still class this as a neutral palette, but it's got richer shades in here, I'd say. And you've got your nice pop of yellow in there. I feel like this is less repetitive than the one that we've just shown. I forgot to mention, it also has like a chapter page in here. So with manga books, you read them backwards. So I kind of wish the palette was over here. And then this was here. So this yellow is a shimmer up here. I thought it was a matte at first, but no, it is a shimmer. Yeah, there's a lot more ready pink tones in here, which is quite nice. And you've got your gold shade here. Yeah, this is really nice palette, this one is. You can really create some glam looks with this one. So yeah, that was the Book 2B palette. So next up is a mini manga palette. So this is the Adventures Rudico. I absolutely love the mini manga palettes. I prefer the quality over the mini ones over the big ones. I feel like the shimmers in here are just outstanding. So with the mini palettes you do get a really nice cute sheet inside and then you get a nice mirror. So this one I would say is predominantly more bluey green in here with your pops of coral, peaches, gold and you've got your neutral shades at the bottom as well. So this one is quite different to the other mini palettes because this one actually includes a glitter shadow which is beautiful. But yeah, these shimmers, man. I cannot cope. Look how stunning those are. Beautiful. I mean, they're just good as each other, but there's just something about the ones in the mini palettes. 
definitely create a nice sunsetty eye with that palette I just swatched. I definitely need to dip into this one again. This one just looks more tropical to me. I'd definitely say this is more of a summer palette. Next up, I've chosen Cat Girl Chronicles. Again, we've got the mini manga palette. This one has got more of a grungy look about it. This is the sheet in here. This has got a really cute cat mirror there. This one stands out to me because there was a shade in here called Kira and Kira is my pet dog's name. She's a Siberian Husky and this is Kira. I think I used this shade when I tested it out in the video. I feel like this could be a good Halloween palette too. Maybe I need to whip it out for Halloween. But the shimmers in here, again, outstanding. Pastel shimmers in here. They just reflect so beautifully. I really like the yucky shade because it is a pearlescent, iridescent shade. Like, cause it looks white in the pan, but it actually comes out blue. I think my favorite shade in here is definitely Kane, the one above Kira. I think that is beautiful. I bet that would make such a nice highlighter as well. Like, let me just dab that on. Wait, look at that. But yeah, the mattes in here are beautiful, especially this navy blue. I don't have many navy blues in my eyeshadow palette. Yeah, I'd say there's navy blues in my Jeffree Star and I've got a navy blue in my Cosmic Brushes, Cosmic Brushes Serenity palette. Um, but yeah, I really like navy blue on the eye. I'd say this is the most unique colour story out of the manga palettes. I don't know, I just don't have anything like this in my collection. Next up from that, we've got another big palette. This is the Manga Anime 2A book palette. I feel like the front cover does give it away what the colour story is going to be. This colour story is going to be a rainbow palette. There had to be a rainbow palette in the series so this is more bright and colourful. I absolutely love looking at this. This colour story makes me happy. I just love looking at it. I love all the colours. It's just so fun and cheerful. So there are the shimmers there. Beautiful. I feel like the manga palettes you have a nice ratio with the max and shimmers. There is a bit of repetitive shades in here running through the top. Yeah, I just really think it's fun. This is a fun colour story out of the pile. So we're on to the last two and I've ranked this second and this is the Attitude Academia palette. This is an interesting colour story. This has got more, I think this had more greens and purples in here. The colour story in here looks very similar to another mini manga palette which I'll get onto in a minute. Front cover is a school in the background I think and I'm guessing this is a student. Yeah this is just more of a school palette. And then we've got this sheet in here and then we've got an iPhone mirror and you've got stationery in the background. So yeah this is more of a green palette I would say. More green heavy in here. You've got your khaki green, you've got your lime green, bluey green up here. I like that they try to match the shimmers to the matte shades as well. I think that's quite nice. And all the mini palettes, they all have a row of shimmers up here. But yeah, the indentings in here is cute. You've got like a little soda cup here. Hopefully you can... Hopefully you can see that. Yeah, this is fun. So I'm gonna swatch these. My hand is so glittery at the minute. It's crazy. I love it though. By the way, if you want to see full on palette swatches, they will be in my dedicated video on each of these palettes. Oh my God, the shimmers in here, just <gasps> stunning. Mm! Such a fun palette and I definitely had to rank this number two. So number one is what I'm wearing on my eyes today. The shimmers in here, just impeccable. Have I had, what is that? Have I had that? Has that been on my face the whole time? I can't film this video again. Just, just, you're just gonna have to put up with it. <laughs> What the hell is that? Is it all with all the swatches? Right, number one. This has had to be number one. I absolutely love this palette. Right on my eyes. This is the My First Love Diary palette. Such cute front cover. Um, I absolutely love, love this. You got your star mirror. So this one, I thought this one looked similar to, which one was it now? Actually no, they look quite different. Which one was it? Was it the Attitude Academia? No, they're quite different. I don't know why I thought they looked similar. They're very different. This is my first Love Diary palette and apparently loads of people are saying, and my friend from my Patreon group said as this as well. She said this looks like a dupe of one of the Kaleidos palettes. I'm gonna have to get a picture or something. And I was so shocked because they're normally quite expensive, aren't they? And I must agree. Um, so if you want like a, a cheaper alternative to one of the Kaleidos palette, Kaleidos? Yeah, Kaleidos palettes. 
then this could be a good option. These palettes are $22. But yeah, this has got more pinky purple tones in here. You've got your Papa Royal Blue here. This blue is stunning. This is an interesting shim. It's like a, a petrol gunmetal type of shim. <laughs> but yeah, these are beaut. Um, I absolutely love these tones. Like, these are my favorite go-tos for shimmers. The mini manga palettes, definitely. So, on my eyes today, on the low lash line, I do have the, the blue shade here. I'm not gonna pronounce it, because I will butcher it. The green, I use the Shimmer Meron, this green here. And then the purple, I use the Tyra. And then I use the Hatsuki shade in the middle. I only used two mattes in my eyeshadow. The matte, the starting matte I used was this purple here. So yeah, that is my eyeshadow. So guys, that was my Recosmetics manga series ranking. So yeah, number one was my first love diary. I really do recommend it. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more Recosmetics videos from me, like I said, I do have my playlist link down below so you can have like a little binge. Um, I honestly do think Recosmetics is underrated. I don't think they get spoken enough. <laughs> like, I absolutely love their formula. I love the palettes. I love their storytelling with their palettes as well. There's always something to show on their cover art. I just I just really enjoy it. I will also keep an eye out on future releases from them as well. If there's something that's really intriguing me, I will probably get it. I have done the Mentos testing videos as well and the Chupa Chups. These are the other two palettes I've tried from Rue Cosmetics. I've tried the City of Dreamy Lights. I've done a video on this. I've also done a recent video on the Freshly Cut Flower Child as well. So these are the last two to try out of my collection. I went on a massive um, binge of buying Rue Cosmetics one month and yeah I brought a lot and it's taken me ages to get through the collection but I've had such a good time and these are the last two to try from Rue Cosmetics from my order. This is the Pulp Fiction one. They create such fun cover art. I don't know why but this cool story just reminds me of Indiana Jones. I think of Indiana Jones the film when I look at this. <laughs> but yeah you got chapter. I think this is meant to be a book. Yeah, book five. Oh, this is the movie one that's meant to be look like a movie. So this is the 80s pop love story. So this looks like a poster for a movie. And this is more mermaid-y, I'd say. Look, I just think of mermaid shades when I look at this. So yeah, they're the two I've got to try next. So if you want to keep an eye out, make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss out. But yeah, that's my video. I hope you have a lovely day. Now we're on time watching this and I shall see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.